mulligan. That's okay. <laughs> uh, one area you don't get a mulligan in is retirement planning. Tony Hansman is here from Guardian Financial Advisors. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Okay, let's talk about some questions. We have some, some viewers who sent some in. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are very good questions. I don't think there's any bad question, especially when it comes to retirement. No, you need no, to know no. as much as you can. Absolutely. Okay, uh, this question, what's an ETF? And are they better than mutual funds? What, what is an ETF? That's you know, a good an ETF is just an exchange traded fund. You know, it's just a basket of securities um, that trades on an exchange. Real okay. basic. It's just stocks, bonds, or a certain commodity. And there, there are a lot of advantages to uh, ETFs over mutual funds. For one, is mutual funds they uh, um, they're priced only at the end of the day. So where okay. an ETF, it trades like a stock. So if you need to get in or if you want to get out really fast, you can, you can do, do that. that. Okay. All right? So uh, the second thing is, is mutual funds have a high turnover ratio, meaning that uh, a fund manager, he'll buy and he sells the same stock within a 12-month span. It means a lot of taxes towards you. Okay? Okay. So an ETF, the turnover is usually less than about 10%. So they can redeem what's called in-kind shares. In a nutshell, less taxes to yourself. Okay, so are there disadvantages then, or what? Um, th there may be a few. You know, it's case by case. It's no cookie cutter system. Okay. And I would say the third thing is this cost of mutual funds. Uh, it's near one percent or greater, uh, where an ETF is usually less than half of that price. Okay. So um, I encourage people don't look at a one year rate of return on mutual funds. Most people have mutual funds. Uh, look at the three, the five, the ten year term. Hey, if it's doing great, then maybe it's worth paying the fee. Uh -huh. But if it's not time to look at an ETF. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. All right. Here's another question. This is from V. Francis. As I get older, should I be selling off my individual stocks and maybe playing a less risky role? What do you think? You know, I tell you what, um, I love individual stocks. I don't think there's a better investment for um, long-term um, averages. Uh -huh. And so uh, uh, they have good advantages too. One being that uh, it's a hedge against inflation. Okay. Very important right, right now. Right. Um, two is going to be, uh, I like companies that have consistent doc or stock dividends. Okay. Okay. Meaning, meaning that you know they're paying a consistent dividends for a long period of time. Right. The company they can control a stock dividend, but they can't control the stock their, their stock price going up and down. True. You're okay. right. You're right. All right. So then they have tax advantages, meaning that if a stock uh, you hold it longer than 12 months, you're going to pay capital gains, which is the most of 15 percent. Uh -huh. Versus, let's say if you had a CD. Uh -huh. All right. In, in the gains that you have, you're going right. to pay ordinary income tax, which is usually higher. Right. All right. If you have stocks, you don't have to pay taxes until you sell it. Right. And then my favorite is is when you pass away, okay, these stocks can go tax free to your loved ones. Okay. So my, my, my thought there is is as you get older, all right, near retirement or in retirement, maybe time to take some stocks off the table. Okay, just a few though, maybe not all of them, right? Uh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. and Tony, people can get a hold of you if they have any other questions, right? What's the best way to get to reach you? You know, uh, give, give the office a call, 268 4463, or uh, visit the website. You can find a lot of great information there at uh, tonyhansman.com. Okay, Tony, thank you very much. Really appreciate, appreciate very much. you helping us out with our questions.